Yeah, obviously, nice to hit the ground running, especially at home. Um, you know, we I think we got the favourable conditions, especially with the ball in hand, obviously with the bat as well. But to have those guys, the international players, charging in, you know, in front of a packed house at Newlands, you know, it's as tough as a batter. Having spoken to a few of the guys after the game, but it was a power packed team from Paul as well. So obviously, nice to just have things go away. Um, there are obviously a lot of areas we need to improve on, um, things that we're going to tweak going forward, and you know, looking forward to seeing how the, how the ball rolls on from here. I thought it was a pretty good ball to the offside, but yeah, I don't know what happened there with Dane. Uh, I think I am a beer at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, phew, fullest house I've probably played in in South Africa. I haven't seen Newlands. I've never actually played in front of a full house in Newlands, but um, you know, awesome. Obviously, a lot of kids, a lot of uh, screaming fans. I think the the guys on the mics were, were loud, but they were they were good. Um, yeah, so it's just awesome to actually get out there, the lights on, and you know, put a bit of a partnership with Devalt and. Just enjoy some actually some really tough and, and good cricket. There's some highly skilled players in this league, and you know just the opportunity to take it all in is you know something that we cherish. Yeah, I got I got off quite nicely, um, which probably gave him a bit of time. But as I started to slow down a bit, I was kind of like, "Come on, mate! Like you know, show me what you got." Um, and that I think it was the sixth over he, he took on. I think it was Frisco or Cody, one of them. Um, and once he got going, he got going quite nicely. Such a clean strike of the ball. And I think the freedom we have, knowing that you know, you got Sam, Rassi, Grant, um, Delano, George in the in the back, really helps uh, us play confidently. Um, and you know, once you get in, uh, used to the wicket, you know, you can really try and maximise it. Yeah, um, like I said, I had, a, I had a nice month these last two months. Um, I did have about a ten-day break off in December, or just after the, the one-day cup for the Messi final, but. Yeah, T20 is a bit different, so I know I'm hitting the ball nicely. I think it's just probably about trying to mould some plans. Um, I haven't had the best time in T20 cricket the last year or two, so the opportunity to try to formulate some plans with um, you know, Simon, Kadic and Hash uh, has really been helpful, and just to try to get used to the conditions. Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I've, I know I'm hitting it quite nicely. It's just trying to make sure I can continue this period you know, for the rest of the summer, ideally. Yeah, like you said, I think those those bubble crickets really, I really struggled on those, those slow, low wickets, you know, as the tournament ran on. Um, I think the opportunity just to get on, you know, fresh wickets um, where the ball comes on a bit better and just have the freedom. Like I said, we've got a lot of players, you know, we have great T20 players behind us at uh, three onwards. So, yeah, I'm just like I said, I'm just trying to formulate a plan for myself um, and hopefully something I can stick to going forward. And, you know, I, I, I don't doubt myself as a T20 player. I just, you know, I haven't had the best last 12 months, uh, two years, 18 months. Um, so I, I know I still got it, so I just need to you know, formulate something that can you know, prove that I still have it. I think we played, we had about four, we had two warm-up games and four middle sessions. So a lot of the uh, batters are high felt batters. So just for us to get used to the conditions is a big thing. Um, we noticed, you know, we, we learned different parts of our game and things that we need to stick into here. So it obviously helps that we got three on the bounce here. So. I think if you win your games at home, it obviously gives yourself the best opportunity to try and maximise in a tournament. Um, so I think that's obviously our prize, is just taking our home games into consideration. And then obviously as we branch out throughout the South Africa, you know, we go to the high fault where maybe I come into play and Rassi and Devolt and, you know, different batters under different conditions. So I think if we can make sure we look after our home games, um, we actually have a really good chance going outside outside of Cape Town. Unbelievable! I actually forgot that he still plays cricket. To be honest, so he played for Surrey this year. Um, yeah, he's a you know he's quite a simple simple coach. To be honest, um, I think that's a nice part of having someone that's actually still playing. He just formulates something which he can see uh, blends to a certain kind of player. I think I'm probably play more along his lines than a guy like Dilvalt does. So. Him and I are quite close um, with regards to just trying to formulate a few plans and obviously having played for the Cobras here forever and obviously a lot of time in South Africa, for South Africa and Cape Town, he, he has a good, really good understanding um, and we've worked out something for myself and you know, like I said, he's just a, he's a phenomenal player so anything I can gain from him is always going to help. I, you know, I guess everyone teaches you something different. Um, I think the confidence firstly that especially the English and the West Indian players bring into this group is you know, something in South Africans we don't actually really get to see a lot to be honest. So the freedom in their mind that they play the game in is probably the first thing but as it gets more technical um, they speak about obviously backing your ability but you try to chat to Jofra Archer about you know, his bowling plans, um, a guy like Sam Curran, what he looks to do. So you try and formulate ways around that knowledge that you can take and you try, then you'll shift it to a guy like Simon Cadditch and, and um, Ash. And you get the opportunity just to see how uh, you know, top international players think against, um, against top, other top international players. And 
you can kind of just try to stay one step ahead of them or one step with them. You're picking up little bits of information along the way. You know, um, had the opportunity, Joff needed a, a batter to bowl to the, the other day, so <laughs> I said I'm going to be that guy. So I'm going to face him at some point in my career, so let's might as well get it out uh, in the nets. But look, he's unbelievable, both of them, they're bloody quick. So, you know, if you can, if you walk out of a net feeling, you know, vaguely confident that you are able to hold your own, it's a, it's a really good feather in your cap going forward and really glad that they're in my team. Yeah, yeah, always happy to keep, love keeping. I think they're just, just a discussion. I don't really do my fielding any justice today, to be honest, but um, yeah, my fielding out of the two of us was probably a little bit ahead of Grant, so um, so it's probably one of the one of the you're going to keep, one of you need to field, who's, a, who's a probably the better fielder. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't do it justice today, so hopefully I can recover going forward now.